Are you thinking about buying a Mark 8 GTI? Well, you clicked on the right video. Today, I'm gonna do a quick buyer's guide, a really brief buyer's guide on everything you need to know about the Mark 8 GTI. Everything from trims, price, modifications, maintenance, etc. So, this is Chef's Garage, and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Of course, if you're new to the channel and it's the first time seeing my face on your screen, don't forget to please click the subscribe button down below for more awesome videos like this one. I'm trying to do YouTube as a full-time career and I cannot do it without your guys' support. You guys have been smashing the channel lately. I just posted my 1,000 subscriber special. Pretty cool, so go and watch that and uh, yeah, also watch this video as well. But anyways, back to the car. Now, I have owned my Mark A GTI for over two years, so I really know a lot about these cars. And today, I sort of want to go over everything you guys really need to know if you're interested on buying one. And I want to start off with the pricing and trims, and then we'll dive deeper into the car. Let's quickly start off with the basics. So there are three main trim levels that on this car that you really need to know. There's the S, there's the SE, and then there's the Autobahn. Now the car behind me, my car, is an SE, which in my opinion is the best trim level there is on the Mark A GTR. Sorry, the sun is like really bright right now. Now the S starts at $32,000, and for most people, I, in my opinion, the S is enough for them. You get, in the S trim level, you do get these, the, on, the LED, upgrade LED IQ headlights, you do get the um, digital cockpit, you get the smaller screen, you do get um, adaptive cruise control, a backup camera, blind spot, etc. Additionally, you get some also nice creature comforts like heated steering wheel and heated front seats which are really cool but the seats are actually cloth or tartan which is like the cloth um like plaid looking seats which they're nice if you step up to the se which starts at let me look at here thirty seven thousand dollars you get a couple more additional features like the really cool front light bar up here you also do get the sunroof which is really nice you get the keyless entry the Harman Kardon sound system and you also get the option to get the leather seats which is what I have but the biggest difference between the S and the SE is the bigger screen in the inside. The standard screen is only 8 inches, whereas this screen is 10 inches and you have wireless Apple CarPlay. The standard screen only has wired Apple CarPlay. So for to some people, that is a big, big game changer. Wireless Apple CarPlay. Once you try it, you really can't go back. And then finally the Autobahn, which is actually really similar to the car behind me, uh, except that the Autobahn has some new technology for the headlights. You get three zone climate control instead of single zone. You get heated rear seats, and that's really about it. These two, oh yeah, and then DCC. That's really the main difference. For all those trim levels that, trim levels that I said, the, S, the SE and the Autobahn, there's also the 380 version of all of those. So there's the S380, the SE380, the Autobahn. 380 which is the version that you can get the manual transmission in because this is the last model year you can get the um, transmission in manual for the Mark A GTI so once the 85 rolls around that got unveiled video soon on that um, you can only get uh, automatic transmissions in those cars but that's what 380 means it means manual instead of automatic Additionally, I just want to point out for just the S and SE 380 trims, you get DCC as well, which I guess is a pretty cool feature. I don't have DCC, but I've heard it's a pretty cool feature. You can change the, sus the suspension from harder than sport and softer than comfort, which is pretty cool. Before we move on to the engines in all three cars, I do want to show you guys the interior, which these are the leather seats, which is my personal favorite uh, choice between the two seats. So the standard seats are the, the tartan, the plaid seats, and they're cloth, and I just don't like cloth seats. I don't care that it's cheaper and it wears better, whatever. I just don't like cloth seats. I, they're harder to clean and everything, whereas these are better looking, more comfortable, and I just think they are cooler looking. You, So this is on an SE, so this has the leather 
seats package, which these are the same seats you're gonna get in the Autobahn. They are super comfortable, super bolstered. I think they are really cool looking as well. The tritone look, the black, the gray, the red accents, super cool looking. Um, and you all, these are also ventilated as well. So if you do get the leather seat option in the SE, which you is an option, you can get the Autobahn seats in the SE. You, they are also ventilated as well, which is a really nice uh, perk in the summertime. Additionally, with the Autobahn seats, they also do come with three person memory which is also a plus as well and they are fully automatic too the standard seats aren't fully automatic they are like the passenger seat which I'm, which I'm about to show you this is what the standard seats look like so they would have a power backrest but the actual physical part of the chair is all manually adjustable which again some people may like some people may hate I really have no preference because I barely like use my car but when a lot of um, a lot of my other friends drive my car I kind of like to have the ability just to click a button and it goes back to wherever I have it set so that's pretty nice now moving on to the subject of engines now all cars get the exact same engine a two liter turbocharged four cylinder making 241 brake horsepower which is honestly a boost over last year which is over which is 220 horsepower part of the reason is because that the mark a gti's adopted the golf r engine block so because they've adopted a more powerful engine block it makes a little bit more power and i honestly really love this engine i honestly don't think like just as is, it doesn't need a tune. Um, I'm still going to tune my car, just not right now, obviously. Engines wise, these cars are just amazing. Reliability concerns as well, these cars are also really good. I have not had any reliability issues with this car, especially in the winter. This car's never left me stranded. It's always been dead on reliable. I'm crossing 20,000 miles right now, and it's honestly been Clear as day, no issues. When it comes to maintenance and everything, I do my oil changes every 5,000 miles, and I recommend you guys to do the same, for especially for these type of engines. I know Volkswagen recommends 10,000 miles, and I don't really believe any of that. I think 5,000 miles, nothing can hurt by changing the oil every 5,000 miles, and that's what I've been doing since I bought the car. Um, I also brake fluid and other fluids as well. I know D if you have a DSG, that's at 40K, brake fluid at 20K. So maintenance is not, you know, gonna break your pockets. But my last recent service was oil change and brake fluid, and that was, uh, I believe it was around three or 400 bucks. So not bad at all. And that is the super really quick brief buyer's guide that probably you guys have been looking for. The point of this video was for me to sort of break down each of the trims so you guys aren't confused when you go on VW's website and be like, what's a 380 SE? What's the difference between an SE and an SE 380? Well, now you guys know. Now, before we end this video, I do want to give my opinion on which one should you buy. And I'm gonna, I'm a, maybe a little, a little bit biased, but my favorite model of the Mark A GTI, my favorite trim, is the SE. I think it is the best value for money because it's that perfect in between of, of an Autobahn and a base model. I'm not a big fan of, of the base model. Um, the base model is definitely enough for most people, but for me, that kind of wants more car for the money, um, like leather seats, a good sound system, automatic seats. Um, a sunroof, that type of stuff. The SE was just more perfect for me. This car brand new was around $39,000, which yes, is a little bit more expensive today because this is a 2022 model, but the SE in my opinion is the model I think you guys should go for. It's the best value for money and has the most options. And if you want a base model with more technology in it, this is the car, the model you should get the SE. I well, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you guys did find this video helpful as well. What is going on with my camera? I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button. Comment down below if any other videos you guys want to see with my market GTI and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.